I'm very, very blessed that I got to play for him. And just, and that's all the off the court stuff. Everything I do in my program is based on North Carolina stuff. All the time you see the colors I wear based on my beliefs in that program because of Coach Smith and the belief he had in me. The times when I was being the hardest of hardheads, he kept reminding me of the conversation he had when I came, when they came into our home. And he asked my family what was important to us. And my dad's whole thing was education, education. So when I was acting up, he would bring you in and say, I think I remember, King, when your father said what was most important to him, I don't think he said anything about you being in the club all night. I don't think he said that you were going to hang out with JR every night. Could you refresh me in what your father said and just in a way to remind you, in a way to, he always reminded me I was a good kid from a really, really good family that was acting up, not a bad kid. Now you're not a bad kid, King. I don't know why you're making these decisions. What are you thinking about? Obviously, Coach, I'm not thinking when I do these things. So he was as good of a man as anybody. He helped not only me, but countless Carolina basketball guys. He stood up for what was right. He took us to prisons and sat in cells with people on death row and with no security just him one-on-one -on -one with guys on death row to show you nobody's better than anybody. And for us to see the love that we got from the people that were incarcerated, um, he just, he was way before his time, good of a man. And for him to sit when he was a coach at North Carolina at the counter of a restaurant with two black students, when he was the coach at North Carolina back in the 60s, that could have got him fired, kicked out, killed a whole bunch of stuff, but that's what was right, so he was going to stand up for it. And that's who Coach Smith was. 